Good Monday, Makers. It's time for another episode of our Community Build Roundup series called Maker Pipe Monday. We do these episodes every week, and we do them to showcase clever ideas and projects that people have made with EMT conduit, maker pipe connectors, and other ordinary materials. With that said, let's jump in and check out this week's builds. First up is a project from Paul, and this is actually a build from last year that he posted an update for, but if you don't remember last year when we talked about this build, it's this beautiful garden enclosure that he made to keep deer out of his garden. As you can see, it's really awesome. He has this raised garden bed here uh, that's like slightly elevated with uh, wood around the outside. And he basically just built an EMT conduit enclosure around the, the uh, bed. He bent some conduit in the corners, which looks nice, and then used maker pipe connectors throughout to basically build the whole structure. And there was also some really great techniques in here, like these PVC hinges that work really awesome if you're doing a gate or something like that. You need to be able to open and close a door or a window or an access panel. You can do that with these PVC hinges. They work really great and they have a hole pre-drilled in them so you can add a self-tapping screw into your conduit and they work awesome. And then he also used like an off-the-shelf latch here, as you can see, just screwed into the conduit to be able to latch the gate, which is awesome. And then he attached the conduit structure to his raised bed using the one-hole strap method, which is really awesome. The enclosure material is secured to the frame with zip ties. And that's actually what he updated this year. So you can see he just shared this photo recently. Looks pretty much exactly the same, except around the bottom, he added metal rabbit fencing. He said that he was having issues uh, you know, the, the enclosure was keeping the deer out, but smaller animals like rabbits were just chewing through the plastic fencing and just getting through and getting in there and enjoying all the crops. So what he did was add this metal fencing. As you can see, it's got really thin squares or rectangles, um, you know, very small. So it's made so rabbits and small things can't get through. And he basically just secured that to the bottom of the enclosure all the way around. I think he said he used a combination of rabbit fencing to the base, anchored with zip ties to the uprights, and then stainless eye hooks on the base, which is really smart. So he basically just got some of those eye hooks that you know are pointy on the end, and then they have the hook, and he just kind of threaded that into the bed, and then just kind of hooked the rabbit fencing to that to just kind of secure it in place there so you know nobody or no animal will be able to, well, I shouldn't say no animal, but Rabbits aren't going to be able to, you know, unlatch the whole thing and tear it down. So that's a really great suggestion. Uh, you know, if even if you're mainly just trying to focus on keeping deer or larger animals out, you might still want to make some pre take some precautions to keep out smaller animals as well. So thanks so much, Paul, for updating us and uh, sharing that suggestion with the community. We really appreciate it. Next up is a really cool build, and this actually comes from an anonymous builder, which actually made me realize something we've never talked about when asking people to share their builds. If you want to remain anonymous, that's totally fine, totally understand. If you want to just send us a picture of your build through email and just request that we leave your name off and don't really attach your name to it, you know, we're, we, we've done that a few times with builders and that have asked us to do that. And you can also leave a review on the website and put a picture of your build and talk about it. And you don't have to put your name on there. You can remain anonymous. So if that's something that's stopping you from sharing your project, we'd still love to see it. And you don't have to worry if you want to remain anonymous. That's totally fine. Totally get it. But this was a build that was recently shared. And this is awesome. This is a Ranger truck, as you can see here. And it looks like the builder has a, uh, a soft top in the back here. And I would imagine this is used for camping or just for kind of protecting uh, the things that are inside the bed. And you can see there's a framework inside that kind of pulls the soft top uh, tight. And you don't really want anything that's heavy sitting on top of that frame. It's meant to be a soft top. It's not a hard top. So you can't really put weight on top or else that frame and the whole top is just going to collapse. So what the builder did was build this rack for their John boat. And it basically, there's just four verticals that are just one in each corner of the bed, as you can see. And I think they use one-inch EMT conduit uh, with our one-inch EMT connectors, as you can see there. They basically just built this kind of skeleton that goes on the outside of the soft top, just up and around. And what they're able to do now is get their John boat and put it on top of this rack, and it sits over top of the cab and over top of the soft top. And then they can just crank it down uh, with like a ratchet or something or a ratchet strap and, you know, kind of you know pull it tight and secure it to the rack and they're able to go camping or do whatever they need to do while still be aiming, still able to haul their John boat around uh, on their camping trip, which is really cool and just a really great build. So thanks so much for sharing that. 
really great to see. Next up is a build from MC Fish, and she uh, likes to kayak and do things outdoors. She has a whole YouTube channel where she does uh, different outdoor activities and showcases them on her channel in Oregon. And recently, she completed a project where she built a motor mount with the EMT conduit and maker pipe connectors. And here it is. You can see kind of a wide view of it. It looks like she has a chair here that's made specifically for her kayak. And then on the back of the chair, she said that she utilized the mount as you can see here, it looks like it has some open space in the, the slide rail that the seat is used to be adjustable. And she basically just did cross pipes with EMT conduit between the two rails. And then she used various maker pipe connectors, it looks like T connectors and 45 degree connectors to basically build off of those two crossbars and then attach this motor mount. And it looks like there's just two pipes that go up and then one long horizontal pipe that goes out. And then she built this box. I think she said she started out with a like a rubber material like a rubber plank material i forget what that stuff is called i think it's like hdpe or something like that but she said it wasn't working too well so instead what she did was she built this box out of wood that kind of sits over the end of the pipe here and all the connectors that are inside and then this just gave the motor something to clamp onto as you can see and this is able to swivel and hinge so as you can see here she's you know loading the boat into the water and then once she gets actually out in the water, she can swivel this motor down, which is a really common thing for boats. You have to be able to un unload it and load it into the, the trailer or the truck or whatever without, you know, damaging the motor. Uh, so that's really common. And it's cool that she was able to kind of DIY that and keep that a part of her design. And it's just really cool build. Here it is when it's flipped down. And now she's got the motor on attached to her kayak. And then she shared this video. She was going out and I love this uh is kayaking in a volcano, which sounds really awesome. You can see that she's out on uh, on this really beautiful lake or this uh, just water here. Oh my gosh, what a what a nice landscape! You can see here the water looks very pretty, and she's got her boat and everything. The motor there, you can see it in action, and the motor mount. So just really cool. Thanks so much for sharing this build and sharing this video. Love all the different shots and pictures that you shared. That is. That is awesome. Such a beautiful place. But thanks so much for sharing that build. Really great job. Next up is a build from Jimmy. And this is something else. You might not want to show your project because you think it's too simple or you know it doesn't use a lot of connectors. But trust us, we'd love to see your project, whether it's one connector or 10,000. We'd love to see it. And this is a great example because this is awesome. Jimmy built this as a clothes rod of sort to basically dry clothes on their deck. And you can see here basically where the corner or the two you know, sides of their deck kind of come to a corner and meet here. Basically just wanted to utilize this corner and turn it into a clothes drying rod or uh, a, a clothes line, I guess you could say. So basically what he did was he just used two T connectors on each side to basically be positioned perfectly to clamp around the railing here on the deck. And so every time he takes it outside, he can just plop it over the deck rails and it's positioned the correct way. And he just doesn't even have conduit coming out of the bottom. He just kind of squeezed the connectors together, tightened them down, and he's able to just put this rod down in place and in the exact same spot every time. And he's got a place that he can dry his clothes. And he said all he does is just take it off of that, takes it inside, and puts it behind the door indoors whenever they're not using it. And it's just a nice, simple build, only four connectors, but it solves a unique problem. And that's what it's all about. That's why we make the connectors and we love seeing projects. Like I said, whether it's one connector or 10,000, we, lo we love seeing projects and seeing you able to solve your problems. So thanks so much, Jimmy, for sharing that. It's really great to see. Next up is a build from Will. And this is really awesome. He said he built some, uh, or he's going to be building some projects around their farm. And this was kind of a project to get his feet wet, see what he was capable of see how the connectors worked and that kind of thing, which is a good idea. You know, you, you took eight connectors and kind of just did a simple project to get started, get familiar with cutting conduit and all that kind of thing. So a uh, really great job. But you can see here, this is a shoe rack. And I love this. Like I said, it's just eight connectors. It's really simple. You can see it's just, you know, four nineties to kind of create this rectangle shape. And then at the top four nineties again to create another rectangle, just created this, basically this box, this rectangle that has, you know, legs coming out the bottom. And then he said he had some uh, feed bags, just empty feed bags. And he just wrapped that around the conduit, used zip ties to secure the, the feed bags in place. And then now they can put their shoes on the rack and uh, another simple build, but really awesome nonetheless. 
And somebody commented, and it was a good suggestion, you know, if you want to protect hardwood floors, you can add some end caps or some rubber pipe feet on there uh, just to kind of, you know, keep it from sliding around and scratching the floor. But really awesome build, really great project to do to, like, you know, like he said in his review there, uh, was just to kind of get familiar with the system and, and the material uh, conduit. So really great job. Thanks so much for sharing that, Will. And thanks to everybody for posting your projects. As always, we love seeing them, so keep them coming, and we'll keep doing this weekly series. If you want to see any of the projects in more detail, they'll be linked down below. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.